Tonight, 11 Alive is examining the fight for social justice and systemic racial inequalities in America and in our own community as well. Naima Abdullahi gives us a look at the racial wealth gap in Atlanta and those who are working hard to try and bridge that gap. There's the romanticized version of Atlanta and then there's the real Atlanta. Both a reality, but both, when combined, tell the story of this city, the number one city for the haves and the have-nots. I would never call Atlanta Wakanda. We do have a special city here. Uh, let me be clear on that. But we can't negate those that struggle the most in the city. While the census says black people are the majority of the population in Atlanta, the wealth gap between black Atlantans and white Atlantans is dramatic. The median household income for a white family is about 83,000 compared to 28,000 for a black family, according to the Atlanta Wealth Building Initiative. If a person is born into poverty in Atlanta, there's just a 4% chance of escaping poverty in their lifetime. In the West Side, 53% of the homes are vacant and almost half the people living there live below the poverty line. Uh, Atlanta's the worst city in the country when it comes to income inequality. It's the worst city in the country when it comes to economic mobility. Yes, let's go on record to say that as far as a black city, we have the greatest potential to get it right. Now, you can watch Naima's full story and a whole lot more in our primetime special, Equality Matters. It's tonight at 9, right here on 11 Alive.